You too, bro. What do you find yourself on this side? We're gonna go back to the basics. Judah. So Judah, right? Where would you find yourself? Judah? So do you do you believe according to the Bible that you're an Israelite? Do you believe that? All right. So now with that being said, do you believe that God loves everybody? So he doesn't. So who does he love? He loves those that keep his law. All right. So who are the laws given to? Israel. So he loves those who keep his laws who are Israel. What are the other nations given the laws? Yeah. When? When they when were they given when were they the, the laws according to the Bible? When were they given the laws? I need a scripture. Give me something. Because a lot of you talk a lot, but it's not no scripture. The only scripture you pulled was one scripture. All right, we come from the Bible. The, the officer did a great job of showing you that God only is only dealing with the Israelites, but you, you're not getting it. So All right, we, so, so we, give me give me Revelation. No, give me Revelation 22 and 14, then 21 and 12. Given, we'll then get right to that. We okay? did our job, obviously. If the laws ain't been given, then we ain't done our job. No, they've been given, and we wasn't doing our job by keeping it. That is correct. We, we, we didn't keep the laws of God, okay? But like you said, the laws are given to Israel. You, then you said the laws are given to every other, na every other nation, the laws but- Laws are given to Israel to give to every other nation. Okay, so when was that? When's that gonna take place? Hmm. It ain't took place yet. Right, it's not supposed to take place yet. You know why? Because we're not we're not in our right mind. That's right. We have to be in our right mind to give the laws to another nation. Right. How can we give laws to another nation when we're not even keeping them ourselves? Right. That's confusion. Right. All right, so I'm going to break it down for you, okay? But before that, I'm going to get you this. Because the commandments are a key thing. Right. The book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Hey, check this out. Blessed are they that do his commandments. So there God you go. says you're going to be blessed if you do his commandments. The brother already said that we were given the commandments first. Okay? We understand that. So the Israelites were given the commandments and we're going to be blessed if we keep them. That they may have right to the tree of life. The tree of life is heaven. All right? Heaven is the tree of life. The kingdom. Okay? Let's get the kingdom. Let's see what the requirements are to get into the kingdom. Okay? 21, 21, yes, Revelation sir. 21, 12. Yes, sir. The book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 12. And had a wall great and high, mm. and had 12 gates, and at the gates 12. So it says they had a wall great and high. This high wall is talking about the kingdom of heaven. Right. All right, that's what it's protecting, okay? Mm. Read it from the top. Verse 12, and had a wall great and high, and had 12 gates. So it had 12 gates, okay? 12 gates to get into this kingdom, okay? So, there's 18 nations in the Bible, all right? 12 gates. All right, the math is kind of lopsided. We're gonna continue though. And at the gates, 12 angels. So there's 12 angels in front of each, each gate. Keep going. And names written thereon. So there's a name written on each of the 12 gates. It's gonna tell you who's gonna get into these gates. I'm gonna let the Bible say. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? So these gates are for the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now, we just showed you on this side who the 12 tribes of the children of Israel are, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man. Man, woman, and child, okay? So if you look on this side, you said you was on there, all praises to the Father, you have a chance, okay? Now on this side, you cannot find a Chinese man, you can't find an East Indian, an Arab, a white, a white man is not on this side. Right. He's an Edomite. He's not on this side. That's just what God says. He can't get in. Is that it? That was it. So you can't get into the kingdom of heaven unless you are of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's thus saith the Lord in yes. Revelation, the Holy Bible. That's right. Brother, every other nation that's not on this side. That's a Gentile. That's the one that doesn't have nothing to do with God. Right. He's not dealing with them. All throughout the Bible you hear Israel this, Israel that. My people, my, give me my people. Give me Second Corinthians uh, six and six. I'm gonna show you who God's people are because you want to say that the white man can be God's people. That's not true. That's nowhere in the script. Second the brother did a great job of explaining what's going to happen to to, to, to Esau. He said they're going to be destroyed. There's a prophecy. There's a prophecy um, contradict another prophecy. If it did, we wouldn't be out here. What's the point of reading something that contradicts itself? We will be liars. I would be, I'd probably be at home playing Call of Duty or something right now. Chilling with my wife or something. What's the point of reading something that contradicts itself? No, 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 no. Give me Second Corinthians, uh, Second Chronicles six and six. My bad. Second Chronicles six and six. I'm gonna show you who my people are all throughout the scripts. All right, all throughout the scripts, from from the Old Testament all the way to the New Testament. You're gonna find out who God's people are. 
This is the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 6 and verse 6. Bring it out. But I have chosen Jerusalem that my name might be there. So God's name is going to be in Jerusalem, which is our land. Okay? Right. That's the holy land. Keep going. And I have chosen David to be over my people. He, he said it's going to be over my people. Israel. Who's his people? Israel. Israel. Give me Ezekiel chapter 39, verse 7. All right? We're going to drive this point home. We're going to run the gauntlet. That's what I love doing. Because precept upon precept upon precept, we're going to prove who the people of God are. Everybody listen up. Everybody can't be a child of God. Right. Only the nation of Israel. You got that? 39 and 7. The, oh, my bad. the book of Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 7. So will I make my holy name known in the midst of my people? He said, I will make my name known in the, in the midst of my people. Who is his people? Israel. Say it again. Israel. Give me Matthew chapter 2, verse 6. Give me that. So we're going to go to the New Testament now to see if it changed. Because a lot of people like to say that Christ came and changed things and done away with things and changed God's laws. So we understand that God and Christ are two different. They're not the same person. The right. Most High is different from Christ. That's right. Christ is his son. This is what his son said. Jesus. The book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 6. Now this is Christ now. We all believe in Christ. We all believe Christ came and saved, you know, shed his blood for us to come back. And so we all go to heaven. All right? That's what, this is what Christ is going to say. Listen. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people. A governor that shall rule my people. Keep going. Israel. Who? Israel. Where is where's Esau? Where is where is uh the Jebusites? Where's Ham, the, the uh the Parasites? Where's the East Indian, the uh, the Arabs? Where are they at? Right. My people is Israel all throughout the Bible. Right. There is no contradictions in this yeah, book. Right. Give me um Exodus chapter 17, verse 13 and 14. Now I'm gonna go back to the point my brother made. All right. Now this is a prophecy that was given to Moses to tell you what's going to happen to the white man. This is I know I know everybody wants the white man to be saved. I I get you know I get it. You think he's helping you, but he's not. How come he gets to go home to a bigger house than you? Right. How come you don't have a backyard? I'm speaking in general, brother. I don't know your life. I don't, hopefully hopefully you're doing good. Hopefully you're doing good. Verse 14. Verse 13 and 14. Verse 13. I mean, the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 13. And Joshua discomfited Amalek. Okay. Said he discomfited oh, Amalek. Excuse me, excuse me, he gave excuse me. Amalek hell. This is our forefather Joshua. Gave Amalek hell. This is Esau he's talking about. Go ahead. And his people with the edge of the sword. So he killed them. He slaughtered them. All right. Keep reading. And the Lord said unto Moses, write this for a memorial in a book. Let's make it for a memorial in the book. This is a good thing. Moses said this was a good thing that happened that we destroyed these Edomites that hate us. Because he knew about them. Keep going. And rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. Keep going. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. He said he's going to put them completely. You won't even remember them no more. This is something that has to come to pass. Right. Why would Moses, the same person you say that don't know about Edomites, said this is going to be a future prophecy that he's going to be wiped out. The white man's going to be wiped out. You will never think about him again. You won't remember him. It has to happen the same way the Bible says. Now, we all like to say we believe in the Bible, but then when the words come out, then uh, I'm going to lean into my own understanding. I feel comfortable with the white man. What the hell, what the hell is the white man doing for us right now? Right. Just look at his shit on the ground. Look at all this trash on the ground, man. Plan Parenthood. Plan, look, what is it that? Plan Parenthood right, right down, down the street. Do you find that in Short Pump or Stony Point? Why is it prevalent in our communities? They want you to kill your people, kill your babies. What's the point of, what's the point of, uh, pushing to kill your babies and I'm not gonna do it to mine. I'm gonna tell you, hey, yo, you want killing your babies, kill your kids, and I'm not gonna do it. It's hypocrisy. The white man's been teaching you hypocrisy ever since you got here on these shores of America. Right. Ever since. All right, now I'm, I'm gonna address something real quick. Brother, that, that Esau thing, man, Lord's will, Lord's will, he deals with you on that, but that thing got to go, man. The white man did nothing for you since you got here. He's not doing nothing for you now. And I see you were dealing with that. The A-Rap man, the same thing. Dealing with people, the same thing, man. That ain't what I said, though. I never said I like the white man. Okay, but, but brother, but brother. The, what, okay, so you said what the book said. Did the book said he's going to wipe out Esau from, from remembrance under heaven. Did he say that? At least give me that. So which one is right? Which one, which one is going to happen? That's right. But like I said, he also said... I hate the white man. He didn't say you hate the white man. He said, I hate him. Okay, listen. Listen. Listen to what I'm just saying. Did he say he's going to take the remembrance of, of Amalek from out of remembrance under heaven? Did he say that? So does it have to happen? 
There you go, bro. It's, it's simple. That's the end all be all. But we're going to get to something important. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and 13 because these prophecies that the brother went over with you, I'm glad you got to get a little bit, but it went over your head, man. It's starting to. That's not it, man. 12 and 13. Yes, sir. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse. We, we got bigger problems to worry about than if the white man is going to make it to heaven or he can be saved or whatever, man. That, or we're supposed to hate him or not. 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Out of all these deep parables and all these good things that you hear in the Bible, this is what Solomon is saying. Fear God. Fear God. And keep his commandments. And keep his commandments. Now, what I love about the Bible is the precepts. All right? The Bible doesn't contradict itself. We're going to run the gauntlet. Give me Deuteronomy 5 and 6, I believe. Or the 4? 4 and 5? 4, 5 and 6. Yeah, that's it. 4, 5 and 6. Give me that because um, stay patient, brother. Hey, brother, check this out real quick, all right? I'm going to show you how to fear the Lord. I'm going to show you what wisdom is according to the Bible. 4 and 5, right? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land, whither ye go to possess it. So, God gave us commandments and laws to keep, okay? That's what he said. Keep going. Verse 6. Keep, therefore, and do them. He said, keep, therefore, and do them. For this is your wisdom. This is our wisdom. Okay? And your understanding in the sight of the nations. So in the sight of all the other nations, the other nations are supposed to be looking at us to get wisdom. That's where it comes back to. We teaching them the laws. He says, God's going to teach us the laws. And once we apply the laws, then we can teach the other nations. That time hasn't come yet because, as you can see, we're not keeping the laws. Everybody doesn't have on fringes. Everybody's not marrying the woman that they're sleeping with. Everybody's not taking care of their kids. Every man doesn't have a job, doesn't provide for his own household, things of that nature. So it's not the time yet, okay? It's not time yet. Is that it? No, sir. Which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So these other nations are supposed to look at us and say, man, these guys got it. They got everything under control, man. We want to be like them. We seek knowledge from these people, but that's not happening. All of the nations look at us like, well, we're a bunch of niggas and, and crazy people because we sell drugs to our own people. Right. We'll kill each other. That's a problem in our community, man. Right. Like I said, this is the police right there. We have to help him do his job right here. Up, that's, that's what I'm talking about. All praise. That's, that's, a good, that's a good man right there. You got a flyer, bro? I'm with, oh, yeah, I'm fucking That's already. what I'm talking about. All praise. So it's a shame that it's a shame that they have to keep on, we had to keep on coming out here to help out the police, all right? We really shouldn't need no police. If everybody was doing according to the laws of God, we wouldn't need nobody to police our neighborhood. Right. That's the point. Now give me um, give me Psalms 111 and verse 10. So remember, the wisdom is the laws of God. Understanding comes from keeping the laws, okay? So that's what Moses said. We're going to go see what David said. You can't understand the simple things of this Bible. Right. Right. The simplicity of Christ. Right. You can't understand the dark parables, okay? So we, we heard it from Moses. We heard it from uh, David. Let's go to Job. Is it 28, 28? 30th, it's 2828. Job 2828. Give me that. All right. Just remember, remember, the, the key thing is keeping the commandments. At the end of everything, keep the commandments of God. That's going to get your wisdom. That's how you get into the kingdom of heaven. So we're going to hear what Job has to say about it. The book of Job, chapter 28, verse 28. And unto him he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. So it sounds familiar because the last two prophets said the same thing. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of your wisdom. What's the wisdom, brother? Keeping the commandments, right? Remember that keeping the commandments is your keeping getting your wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. To depart from evil. Evil is anything doing anything outside of the laws of God. That's evil. It's black and white. Either you're, you're serving God or you're not serving God. Right. It's just that simple. Right. So when you keep the commandments, you're doing a good thing. You're serving the most high God. All right, that's how you get your wisdom. If you're not serving the Most High God, not keeping the commandments, then you're not, you can't get no wisdom. You can't understand this book. So what we got? We got Moses, uh, David, Job, give me uh, Solomon. Uh, Proverbs 9 and 10. Proverbs 9 and 10. All right? It's, it's my favorite one right here. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 9 and verse 10. Give instruction. I'm sorry. Nine, verse 10. Verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You just heard it for like the fourth time. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right. Okay? This Bible doesn't contradict itself. 
keep going. Here's my favorite part. And the knowledge of the holy. The knowledge of the holy. All right, keep going. Is understanding. Is understanding. Now, look, give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. I'm going to show you who's holy. It says the knowledge of the holy. Who are the laws given to? Or, uh, right, who did, who did Moses give the laws to? There you go. You already know it. Read that real quick. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. The same holy people, the children of Israel, like you said. Keep going. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people. He chose us to be special. The same way when you came out the house, you decided to wear that red shirt. I'm sure you got other shirts, but for some reason, you picked that one. God took 18 nations, and out of 18 nations, he picked the children of Israel to be his holy people. Okay? Keep going. Unto himself, above. He says above. Keep going. All people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, we're supposed to be above all people. Just like the scripture said that the other nations are going to come to us to look to knowledge, to get the wisdom. Because we would know them. That's the same thing that, that, that the Bible keeps on re repeating over and over again. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.